What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Episode. Today, it's a pretty important episode to say the least, not only is it a download day, it is also the 50th episode of this series and it has been a blast. I cannot thank you guys enough for all of the support you've shown on this series so far. It has been absolutely remarkable and hopefully we can continue this series for much, much more much longer. Anyways, uh, yeah, today is very special, like I said, because it is a download day, so if you guys want to check out the description of this video, you will find a link to where you can download this world. I'll also leave a few tutorials, and, uh, yeah, so I think that is just about it. Uh, I do, of course, have a few things I still want to get done today. This is more of a preparing day. I'm going to do a lot of different small tasks, and we'll see what we can get done from there. So the first thing that I really, really want to do is, well, actually, I want to show you the to-do list. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We have a few things on the list today, including I want to fix the lamps in the lodge. I want to do a little bit on the Christmas tree. I want to start working on this new farm and finish it up. And I also want to make a new scarecrow. And there are still a few other things that I may want to do later on, including uh, slaying Buddy for uh, stomping all my crops. Really, man? Really, dude? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Stop doing that. Stop it. Please, please. <laughs> Let's start off with the lamps in the lounge. So I actually fixed up a little bit of this lounge. I made the ceiling look nice, added a little bit of depth, and uh, I still have a little bit of work to do, but for now, I really like it. And I think if I light those guys up up there, uh, it's gonna look even better. There's one problem, is uh, I didn't know how to light it up, but you guys left some pretty awesome suggestions below, and I have some great ways that I plan on giving this a go. But I'll get up here first, and that's a good way to do it. Okay, so now that I've got my pathway, let's go get some levers. Uh, let's see, so I'll get a few sticks, a few smooth stone, and uh, I should be able to simply make a few leathers, uh, levers. I only need two, but I want to make four just to keep it symmetrical. Where are they? Where are, ooh, where are they? Where is the lever? What? You make lever the- whoa, whoa, I didn't know that! I didn't know you made them with cobblestone. I oh, could have sworn you made them with smooth stone. Well, I guess pressure plates are made with smooth stone, but wow, I guess I did not know that. Hey, you learn something new every day. But we'll go ahead and make four of these, and I'll put away the rest of the cobblestone, and uh, we'll grab them out, and we'll place them up there. And, and yes, I do know you only need two, but in case I ever go up there again, I don't know, I, it's just, I, I gotta put four. I gotta put four, I just, I got to. So we'll see how this looks, and uh, hopefully it'll look pretty good. So we'll turn that on, there we go. You only need uh, these two, but of course, like I said, I'm kind of in the mood to put them all there. So uh, that should be good. Let's take a look, buddy. I'm gonna have to break down our awesome little pedestal here. And uh, that should have worked. It does, and I think it looks really, really good. Not only is it gonna provide light, but it's gonna make this, oh, it's gonna make this look, oh geez. This looks awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. So that is the inside of the lounge for now. Let's go ahead and look at what we want to do next. So this is my beet farm. Now I got to have Buddy sit down for this because he will be trampling all over these crops if I let him. Uh, what else do I need? Do I have any? Oh, okay, I do have my thingy with me here. Uh, my, my thingy being, uh, being uh, my hoe. So I do have the hoe, I have some seeds. I've got everything I think I'd need. So I just wanna get started here. Oh, look at that. Some water for the new crops is pretty awesome stuff. I will go ahead and walk over here Fix up this area that Buddy just messed up and that I just messed up again with auto jump. And I think I should probably uh, just start planting and uh, stop talking. So I'll be right back. And we are just about wrapped up here. I think it's gonna look pretty good. I know I've got to have a few more. Yes, I have 64 more. Yeah, I have a ton of beetroots. And that should be good to go. So uh, now we just gotta wait for all that to grow, and I think it'll be a pretty cool looking farm, to say the least. So I definitely like how that looks. So that farm is now done. I've even got the torches up there. I also added a few fences, uh, fence gates, excuse me, into uh, basically all of the farms. So it's gonna look a little bit nicer, and it'll be easier access to grab some instant wheat if I'm just walking by the farm. So that should be good. Another thing that I want to do is I want to make a scarecrow in there. So let me go ahead and grab grab my silk touch pickaxe 
go grab a piece of grass from somewhere over here because I really don't go back here that much this one this is definitely not necessary so we'll grab that one and then I'll head over here find a spot that I want to use uh, for the, the scarecrow I think of somewhere like right, right here oh well mm, yeah yeah okay okay Okay, I see you. The auto jump is absolutely awful. It is, it's so bad. I always trample my crops with auto jump. And I think I'm gonna have to fix up the, the boundaries later to actually seal it off because it's easy to walk in. Um, I don't know, I think it looks better, but really, uh, the monsters just drop everything. Every, the monsters, my own dogs, everything just tramples up the crops. So I'll probably have to switch that up later, uh, but I don't know. I'll try to keep, I'll try to keep it going for a little while longer, but I do have everything I need for a scarecrow here so let's go ahead and run back up really quick really fast and we'll get the scarecrow in this whole farm basically done now can i oh look at that didn't break at that time good 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 so we'll get all the oh j okay okay hold on hold on we've got uh we've got a little bit of business to attend to yep there we go and oh good 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 stuff <gasps> another one. Oh my goodness it's a spider Look how many things there are out today. All sorts of things trying to come get me. Okay, all right. Jeez, everyone's coming after me for some reason. I better watch my back, man. You never know with all these monsters. Anyways, let's, oh, oh look at another one. Oh my goodness, is that a, oh, it looked like a spider jockey from here. Nope, it's just a regular old skeleton. And we'll give him the business. There we are, perfect. And, uh, oh, another zombie as well. What's up with these high spawn rates? There are things everywhere, all over the place trying to come get me recently. This is very weird. Okay, but I think we're good. I think the coast is clear. We can finally get this thing set up. So let's get out everything we need. And uh, let's start off with, of course, the fence. And then I'll grab a hay bale. And I'll put the hay bale right on top, just like that. Two levers on each side, one right there and one right there. And then I can put the jack-o'-lantern on the top and that's gonna mess, oh, it didn't mess up the farm. Oh, but I also need to get up here and oh my goodness. Okay, well, look at this. There we go! I got it on top, and I didn't mess up the farm either! Oh, that's awesome! And I have another, another enemy over here. He's kind of lost in the, he's kind of lost in there, isn't he? Yeah, that ought to do the trick. There we go. Okay, okay, relax, relax. Oh my goodness, relax, oh my goodness! What's up with all these zombies coming after me recently? Holy cow, and they're really good for some reason, too. What's going on? What is going on with this? I gotta go sleep, I don't wanna die around here. Let's head back and I'll get a nice, nice night of sleep and I'll meet you guys in the morning once again. <sighs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, good morning, Grumpy. How are you today? Looking awfully ready to go. I'm sorry that you always stuck inside, but it just, you know, it happens that way. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I do want you guys to answer this one question I have. Do you enjoy how planned out these episodes are I know before I think up to like episode 45 I really didn't prepare for the episodes I, I did stuff off camera but then on camera I would still spend time getting stuff crafted and and getting things ready to build projects and I wouldn't really get a lot done during the episodes but I feel with this new style of recording I'm getting a lot more done and I think the episodes have to be a little bit more interesting so let me know what you guys think but of course we can go ahead and move on to the next thing on our list which is working on this Christmas tree so I got it started here I just got the basics done and uh, this is what it's gonna look like it's gonna have the mat around it I just basically outlined the mat so it'll be a little bit easier but I do want to grab some of these red flowers to make dye because I want part of the mat to be red I think I think a lot of it I want I, I want a lot of red and green so I will have to grow a few cactuses I, I suppose I didn't really plan this part out but I guess I could get that done so we'll have to grow a few cactuses, put a little red and green in the carpet, and I think it'll look pretty cool. But for now, I want to grab a few things I have out of this chest. I have a ton, a ton of spruce leaves, and I also have a little bit of spruce wood as well, but I did use a lot of that on the inside of the pumpkin. So basically every tree I chopped down, the leaves went to the chest, and then all the wood went inside of this old pumpkin. So I'm very useful. I'm using all of the supplies very well here. Also, a pretty cool thing that I added was if I go down this little hole, you guys can see, you can actually climb up into the bottom of the tree. How sweet is that? So I was thinking we could maybe make something cool on the inside of here, but uh, I don't know. So you guys will have to let me know uh, what you guys all think. But for now, I want to continue building this tree up, and we can see where it goes from here. 
Alright, so we got a little bit more done here. Now I want to bring this level that I already have up one. And I think this will make it look like it's getting a little bit slimmer. And, uh, and hopefully it'll work out well. Or do I want to... You know what? Oh, maybe I actually... Oh, I should probably be using my shears for this. There we go. Don't want to waste any leaves. Because I'm actually using quite a bit here. So let me get all of that. And let me make sure I didn't mess this layer up. Okay, yeah, I think I want to take this layer in one, and we'll see how this looks, but I think it ought to look pretty good. So, uh, we'll take a look, and we'll see. We will see. We shall see. And let's jump down, and we'll take a look at that. Oh my goodness. I like it. So, it does get a little bit smaller, and then on this one, I'm just gonna basically going to be alternating. So, as you can see, it'll go in, then out, then in, then out, then it's going to be a little bit smaller, and then it'll go in and out, in and out, and then maybe a little bit smaller, and then in and out, in and out, and stuff like that. So I, do, I know I'm not going to have enough leaves for all of this. I know I won't, but at least I'll be getting a little bit done today. And then maybe in the next coming episodes, we can finish this guy up, add a few ornaments on here, and uh, make it look nice and pretty. But uh, for now, I am actually very, very pleased with this. So let's go ahead and bring it uh, in another level here. And uh, that should be simple to do, hopefully. I think it's just like this, and then this layer actually goes up like so. And that should be good to go. All right, so let me get this layer done, and I'll be right back. All right, look at how big this thing is. So we'll go down here. I don't know why I just, this is actually a complete waste of time, but I'll give it a go anyways, and we'll see what this looks like from down here. And I think it actually looks pretty cool. I'll give it, oh, you know what? Maybe we can look at it from the top of this guy. Let's let's climb up our gonocopia, and we'll see how cool this thing looks. And uh, hopefully it looks good. I like it. I really like the shape, and that's going to end up being like that tall maybe on my screen like around there is where probably where the top will be so i definitely like it i think it looks pretty good obviously i'm gonna add some ornaments and some awesome stuff to it but for now i am definitely pretty pleased with that now i also have an awesome assortment of things or assortment of ideas to do uh, on the bottom of this under the tree like where you put the presents and the railway uh with, with the with the little train going around i think it's gonna be pretty cool so hopefully you guys will enjoy uh this part of it and we'll you know you guys can let me know if if you think this is a good idea, if you think it's a bad idea, you can let me know that as well. I'm open to all criticism, although hopefully you guys will uh, will find this uh, find this idea a good one, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, let me go ahead and get all this ready, and I'll meet you guys once I have everything set up. All right, so I've got a little bit done here, but it is nighttime, so I wanted to show you guys uh, I do need a little bit of bite, a little bit of a small bite to eat, so we'll get that done uh, by making a few bowls, and uh, there we go. Whoa, 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 hold up. Where do I get the bowl? Oh, there they are, at the very top of the inventory. We can make eight beetroot soups. Holy cow. Uh, well, I, don't, I definitely don't need that many. I'll just go ahead and and chow down on a few of these and uh, there we go that's one and I'll put I'll also put away some of this extra stuff that I don't really need uh, like all this and I don't really need any of the beets anymore because uh, I made a few bits of soup here and I uh, got everything else that I, ba I basically need out of that so I'll uh, we'll go ahead and eat up one more here and I will continue my idea so I'll get a little bit of explaining done now that I've started on this progress progress I was I kind of just mixed the words project and progress together so it was kind of weird but Anyways, what I wanted to do was kind of like I was describing before, make a nice a nice mat that we, you would have under your Christmas tree in real life. Uh, and it's gonna have some red, green, and white on the outside. I guess I guess a white lining on the outside, and then mainly red and green on the inside. It's also gonna have a railway track, and then I could probably try to figure out how to get a few awesome little presents down here as well. I think having some presents, it's gonna make it look pretty cool. It's gonna make it look pretty awesome. Hopefully, you guys do agree. Uh, you can leave suggestions. Like tweet me pictures of builds you uh, you made. Like try to make try to replicate your own tree, and then show me some different techniques you use for uh, some of the things on the tree or under the tree. And hopefully, uh, you guys can give me some good ideas, and we can make this thing look awesome together. Because that's really what I've been doing for a lot of this series. You guys have been giving me some incredible ideas uh, on on social media and stuff like that, and it's been really really cool to see everything you guys uh, everything you guys have. So uh, it's definitely been pretty awesome. Um, and another thing, actually, to see save wool would it make sense to make carpets and just put it on top of oh yeah it would okay so oh well now it's too late now it's definitely too late 
Um, unless I can make, oh no it's not, no it's not, no it's not, okay good good good, I think this may save a little bit of wool, so I actually, instead of, uh, ruining that whole thing by, <laughs> by digging out all that dirt, I should have just left the dirt there, and I think this will add a little bit of dimension as well, so I think this is a pretty good idea, we'll see if this looks good. Alright, so that is what I've got there. Now basically it's going to be this red ring right here and then maybe I could put a green ring on this uh, layer of dirt and then maybe another red ring or I, I don't know how it's going to look but I think having rings like this is going to be pretty cool. Also, not having creepers come blow up this area is going to be very cool. Oh my goodness, how did I want to hit that guy? How did I want to hit that creeper? Something must have happened to me. He must have fell off a cliff. He might he must have done something cuz that usually <laughs> does not happen. So uh yeah, I guess I guess you could say it is my lucky day. Uh, we'll get all of this stuff done and there we go. So if I had if I had green wool, I would use it there, but I'll go ahead and not use it because I don't have it. And uh, I guess the rest would just be white wool here. And then under this, uh, on the inside of this, I'll probably make it all red or all green. Probably all red, considering the next row will be green. I don't know. You guys will see how it looks good. So basically, everything that's in between this uh, inner circle and the tree could go uh, could go a nice green or red. And then this, this ring around here will go green. And then this ring around the outside will go red. And we'll have a nice little carpet under there. And then, of of course we can add presents onto the carpet and other things like that but for now I think that's pretty good as far as the tree goes that's that's actually more than I thought I would get done in this episode so I'll put some stuff away and I want to show you guys one more thing so there are a few things I need ideas with and because today is the download day I wanted to put you guys on a mission um, down here in the church I have this awesome storage room which I will start populating for the download day I'll move everything down here for you guys of course but I still don't have a staircase and I want this to be a stair staircase up to that floor up to the first floor so hopefully you guys can uh, go ahead and download the world and build on here and show me what kind of cool staircases you guys can uh, build uh, for right there, for that area. I'm thinking a spiral staircase would be cool, but I want to see what you guys feel. Also, there's another, uh, there's another build over here that I want to show you guys that I do need your help with as well. Okay, so over here in the blacksmith, I've actually remodeled it a little bit. I added this awesome forge in the middle, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's, I think it's better than the two types of forges. I like this one a lot. It's also got a nice balcony over the top and a staircase back here. So I don't need help with a staircase this time. I just need help with putting stuff in here. Uh, particularly, I want... What in the world is... What are you doing here, my man? What are you doing here, Mr. Friends? Get down from there. <laughs> okay, so the plan that I, I really have... Oh my goodness, that should also be... Uh, that should be that should be stone brick. Anyways, what I was thinking is maybe a few anvils, a few furnaces, a few chests. I don't really know what what to do so I definitely need some inspiration for the inside of here so you guys could also please tweet me that again another idea I could have I need help with is this room I still don't know what to put in this room I really have no clue so yeah those are three things that you guys could definitely help me out with other than that I think everything is good you guys can come and enjoy this awesome world with me uh, just go ahead and check the download link in the description so that is basically everything I wanted to get done in today's episode I'm very very, very pleased with the progress we got today, and hopefully you guys are as well. Like I said, please go ahead and smash that like button to show your support. The download day is here. I know you guys have been waiting for it for a long time, and it has finally arrived. And uh, I couldn't be any happier. That is really all that I have for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this awesome episode of the Let's Play. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button below. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.